been gone for about 13 days. I just wanted to take a little bit of time, relax, enjoy myself. Summer is actually finally in Saskatoon. A lot of people think like, what the heck are you thinking, girly? It's still spring. No, today we got plus 30, close to like plus 40. We are still in the heat warning and I got badly burnt. I look like a lobster. I have never in my life been so badly burnt that I am right now. I am pretty impressed that I even got as burnt as I did. Um, see, me use, I used to live in California. Here's a little backstory. I used to live in California years and years and years ago. Um, when I lived in Cali, I really, I did get suntan, but I didn't ever really get a sunburn. Um, and I was always in like, you know, and I really think it might be because I've gotten older. And because of that, it actually happens. And when you get older, your skin changes, everything changes, and that's basically it. So let's get away from talking about skin and talking about the weather and why it was gone. Let's talk a little bit about what I was trying to first build. Um, I had a really big issue with this airport. I didn't know how I wanted to for it to look. I didn't know how much I wanted it for it to function. I didn't know how I wanted it to um, look when it's fully done. Um, my vision on this city is to make it brand new again. So my little sort story of um, the Saskatoon 2.0 is um, what would happen in 50 years when everything would have changed. Maybe the world would have ended. So this is actually shows you guys of uh, if the world ended tomorrow and the entire world came back and we repopulated and we remade the city that is will be a lot better when it's fully finished. Um, the new Saskatoon is going to have subways. Here's a little backstory. We don't have those in Saskatoon, which I think is stupid. I think we should have subways. And I think our bus services should be on, I'm not kidding, should be on 24-7. Like a lot of the places are in the in, in the States. We, we should be able to have transit 24-7 or even the subway services for 24-7. Um, yeah, our infrastructure in Saskatoon is a lot older than um, normal people would think. Um, our city is a lot older. So we don't have that ability to be able to um, have the subways and stuff, which would be nice. It would be nice if things could be a little different. Um, so yeah, but anyways, uh, here's me. I'm having actually a huge trouble. I'm, I actually forgot that Anarchy was on. Um, I use a lot of mods in City Skylines because that's the only way I can make anything realistic. And, um, this is something that I do like to sit down and play. Uh, before I left today to Sarkhan, I was an, I was on um, I did a 45 minute um, I did a 45 minute video and then I stopped the video and I came back home and I restarted it and I feel like every time I do that I've wanted to keep trying to do something different. Um, when it was finally finished, the airport wise itself, I still need to do a, quite a bit of more work, but it looks a lot better. And I'm having a lot of problems with, um, with the roads and stuff. I'm not, I used to play a lot of city skylines and lately I started coming back to city skylines because there's really not very much for me to be doing on Second Life right now. I've kind of taken a couple of uh, weeks off of a break of SL. Um, and after that, I'm going back. So that's something that it's good to like take a break, take a breather, and then go back. Because then when you when you do that, it's, it's good for your mental health, right? So I may be right, I may be wrong, but that's how I see it. Um, so here's me. I'm having issues with roads now. We don't have two lane roads up to the airport. I feel like um, the way this actually has changed, it looks a lot weirder because um, our infrastructure 
our airport is not as far away as it is here on Saskatoon.0. What I wanted to do was, oh, so if you we go, we scroll back, if you can scroll back to the video, you'll see me actually saving. That's when I actually had to go, but okay, back. Um, but I just wanted something to where, like, you're coming in, you can see all these apartment buildings, and then you come into, like, um, residential, and then you go into residential and right into the uh, area. I did, however, keep the good old Carmen Park alive, so Carmen Park is actually available there. I did remake that, and so this is the, um, the vision I had of the airport. I wanted something that screamed international. Now, our airport in real life is extremely small. We've always had a small airport. Um, it's kind of a useless useless airport to be honest with you it's not bad don't get me wrong it's not that good but it's not bad it's just not big enough um it would be nice if we had the amenities like calgary has or what edmonton has or even what toronto has um it would be nice to actually have our own uh tsa and, and being able the ability of coming in to extended uh extended Way, um, airlines and stuff that was one of my my goals of this build but a lot of the time I was having issues trying to figure out is how I wanted this to actually look like when it's finished so this video is only to work up on the airport a little bit um, and then I was gonna do more of a video later I just wanted to come on and do a quick video say I'm okay I'm still here I'm just not feeling good and now I'm dealing with a severe sunburn, and I hope I'm better in a couple days. But anyways, I hope you love this video as much as I love making these videos. Hit the like, subscribe button down below, and I'll be back next time. Alright guys, love you all.